But if you make a wrong decision, not like a painter, you can walk back and look at it, but in a racing car, it usually is of dire consequences. You know, you've made the decision and there's the accident. And you'd love to go back on it. You'd pay a million pounds to go back and have another shot at that mistake, but there's no way. And you, if you're lucky, you climb out of the wreckage. If you're unlucky, you know, you're horizontal. Mm -hmm. So you can't emphasize the safety on young people coming into it to get through and get conditioned reflexed and to get a little bit of professional thinking, like having regard for the sea lake. Never stop having regard for racing cars and tracks because they're nasty old things. They'll turn around and bite you the moment you slack up on them. You can visualize the bone shattering ride that a thing like this gives. You know, it shakes all the buttons off your overalls. I suppose that's why they invented zippers. The thing is really a diabolical thing to sit in. So it's very hard to get the balance of it. You have to manhandle them a bit. But your lighter cars, your more subtle cars, the steering wheel's more or less an encumbrance. You know, you sit in the car and balance the whole thing with your backside. You get your feet braced on the bulkhead and you just very carefully hold the steering wheel, but you're not really conscious of the steering wheel all that much as conscious as to what the movement of the car is going to do. But uh, a thing like the Chevy, with its compromises in its steering, it's very hard to balance it in the wet. And this is where the little cars have got an advantage on you. It's a soul-destroying thing because you can never quite get the thing flowing the way you want it. And you can never explain this to people. You must really do the slide before it happens. As you know, my style of driving, I very rarely got attitude on a motor car. I try and keep the thing going as a movement. You know, I might be working overtime in the cockpit, you know, going 300 to one, but basically what I'm trying to do is to avoid any form of attitude getting on the motor car which looks all pretty crowd entertaining, but in a big car is a terrible waste of time. Experience is a great teacher, and over the years, you know all the tracks, you've done them all before.